On this James the Bike Guy, we're taking a look at what might be one of the coolest, quirkiest, and maybe most unique flat bar style hybrids out there. That's right, we're checking out the Breezer Radar Cafe. So in this video, we're gonna check out all the things that make this bike unique, how it stands out from the crowd, the features and the specs, and then finally, we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if that kind of thing is interesting to you, be sure to hit that subscribe button, sit back and enjoy this video on the Breezer Radar Cafe. So to begin talking about this Breezer Radar Cafe, we really need to talk about some of the unique features that make this bike so special and where it really doesn't fall into any particular category. You know, this thing definitely spans from a cafe style bike to a hybrid, maybe a flat bar setup, to even a gravel bike in a few different ways as well. And in my opinion, it's one of the most unique bikes out there and something I'm really psyched to be taking a look at. So some of the things to talk about here is this bike is gonna be set up with 4130 chromoly steel. So you've got a steel frame. It has Breezer's compact geometry setup. It's gonna be also set up with 29 inch wheels and tires and it has clearance for an absolutely massive 29 by 2.1. Not to mention you've got standard water bottle mounts, but up front you've got mounts right on the side of the fork to go along with the rack and fender mounts that are on this bike. So between those big, big tires, the 4130 steel frame and all those mounting options, this could be a really fun randonnée bike, a touring bike, even a commuter as well. And on the back end, you'll see the frame geometry is set up with a super slender steel rear end. And that's gonna allow for a cushy ride going up to the synthetic leather saddle, which has almost a Brooks-esque look, certainly more classic, and then to an M-style mustache handlebar. And this is an aluminum 318 handlebar with an alloy stem and with that back sweep of the bar is gonna put you in certainly a real comfortable and upright position. But they juxtapose that position with this one by mountain bike style drivetrain. So back here, you've got a Dior 10 speed rear derailleur, which is set up where it has a clutch that you can turn on and off. So you can make sure that the back end holds the chain nice and tight and quiet. And then you're gonna have an 11 to 40 tooth rear cassette, which is driven forward into this FSA Comet crank set. This is an aluminum crank set. It is going through a threaded bottom bracket and it's gonna run a 38 tooth narrow wide chain ring. So you can see that narrow wide profile, little chain guide up top to keep everything nice and tight together. Going along with the mountain bike drivetrain, this has a set of 29 inch WTB STP I-23 rims. And the neat thing with the I-23 rim is it's tubeless ready. It's gonna be 32 spoke front and rear and mounted on it is gonna be a set of small block eight tires from Kenda in a 29 by 1.9. Now, unfortunately, these small block eight tires are not tubeless ready, but because the wheels are, it's a pretty easy solution to get that on the entire bike. Shifting the bike is gonna be the Dior shifter matching up with that 10 speed drivetrain. And then you've got a set of Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. These are gonna be two piston calipers on the front and the rear operating down on some center lock 160 millimeter rotors. And then out front and in back, you've got a quick release dropout setup. So this bike's gonna have a pretty huge amount of capability and capacity to ride through. I mean, I love the fact you got those giant tires, the one by drivetrain, that M style handlebar. It's just such a cool bike. So now that we've taken a look at some of the features and designs of this Breezer Radar Cafe, let's go ahead and find out exactly what this bike weighs. So the actual weight of the Breezer Radar Cafe is gonna come in at 29.17 pounds. Thanks for watching this video on the Breezer Radar Cafe. Go ahead and let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. While you're at it, be sure to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That way you can see more videos like this in the future.